Hi guys, well, what a day. Um, I've been picking all the leaves up in the around the, the trees here in the centre of the plot and um, the leaves off the back part of the plot but that's not the video I'm showing you today. The video I'm showing you today is um, one of the front beds it kept on um, filling up with water. It was the only bed on my plot which actually got water logged. The simple fact was we've not turned it over for five years simple reason the bushes were in there so we took a lot of the bushes out we've dug it up lifted the the fluff the soil up and then what we did we piled in tons of compost from the compost bin so i'm going to show you the clips of what we've done to get it to so the the compost is at the top of the boards and then i'm going to show you what we well and then from there we're going to show you what we put in we've put loads and loads of tulips and daffodils in there as well so you're going to see all that from start to finish right now. So, uh, check this out, well, guys. Today we're just going to clean this bed out. Uh, let's just get all these weeds out. A lot of weeds in here. Uh, we're going to be filling this bed up um, with a load of good stuff shortly. All these bushes are coming out of here. This is a bed we're going to be working on over the winter months. This bed here and that bed there. But everything's going to be coming out of here um, shortly. All the dailies have started to go, well they're going over now so we need to take them out but there's some still nice, some nice ones there and uh, you know we're going to pull them out while they're still there, I'll take the tops, to, take the tops off them and um, the dead ones but yeah this bed uh, we're going to get stuck into this now so uh, anyway this is what it looks like at the moment and uh, well let's show you what it looks like after we've done it all eh? have uh, filled it right up to the top of the boards now so this bed will be no more flooding in here no more and this is all the compost that the compost bin and um, look at it it's absolutely fantastic so far so we're going to be putting the tulips daffodils and what you're stuff looking like at that there's the the bed that we we did just today we've um put all about a thousand liters of um compost in fact even more we put in here we put uh, about 10 wheelbarrows of um, compost out the compost bin and I've come down this morning and I've noticed that the the top's got a little bit of frost on it superficial frost uh, the sedum you can see that it's just got a bit of frost on it but when you put your hand on it, it I mean if you, you probably see the frost there it's just just that'll be dried out later um, sun gets up and uh, I'll be able to put bulbs in if I so wish but um, yeah we're leaving that in for the time being and that tree there that the, 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 the current black currant and the gooseberry we're going to leave them in but for the there's no being. easy way to do this but uh, scattering them all over is the way to go so <laughs> we've got quite a lot of them
don't know if you've seen what we're doing there. We're tipping them all over. By chucking them in like that, uh, they're all come up um, all all over. We're not bothered with the tulips just yet, but we're going to get all these uh, narcissus now um, planted. So all we got to do, Dibber. I don't know if you can see. Let's get the camera down here, Dibber. Simple as that really. Look like Swiss cheese when it's all done. Oh, there you go. Hell knows how many I've just put in there. Uh, I think we put a few hundred and uh, get all the way along. So, what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to have a blast of that inhaler. And then I'm going to stick the tulips right round the border and uh, then we're going to rake them all in. So, well, that's the plan. So, I'm just getting the tulips now. There is more tulips in here, guys. Got the daffodils in, now the tulips. Where's me dibber? Let's get it so you can see where we are.
Oh, the joy. What I'm going to do now guys, once I've just finished this bit here, I'm going to swing the camera there, I'm going to get me rake and I'm going to rake all this lot in. should look glorious when this is done. Ground's lovely and soft. So, ooh, that's all the bulbs, must have put about 200 bulbs in there, it looks like bloody Swiss cheese done it, I'm going to get me rake now and rake them all over, so it's just a matter of raking everything in. Well, I should have every squirrel in a 10 mile radius heading for this bed. But, uh, like I say, they can't get them all. So there we go. That is uh, one bed. We've loads of, uh, been done with bulbs. I've got absolutely thousands more to do. But we've got these, this bed here to do next and the bed over which, which has got the, the rhubarb we're going to be putting a uh, double um, rows of tulips all the way around the borders and it uh, should look really nice but with the narcissus and everything else what's in there but this bed when I'm just going to give it a little bit more raking just to and sweep the boards, sweep the soil off the boards and uh, this, is, uh, this is all done, this bed so there we go, yeah we just tampered it down with the uh, the rake, when I say by tampering we've just gone like this. And uh, that's it, that's it, all done. Uh, just hope the squirrels don't find them before they start to come up. 
although there's enough bulbs in there to to feed a probably a couple of hundred bloody squiddles but yeah we still got the other beds to do yet we've got these that bed there and the one over there i've got more bulbs we will be putting them in shortly so there you go it looked like swiss cheese so you can just um, there's, there's a lot of bulbs there really is and there's about the same amount of bulbs what was already in there which is uh, will come up um in spring so come spring that bed's going to look absolutely glorious and all the other beds on the front part of the plot the four beds behind the strawberries they're all are going to look glorious because we've done exactly the same around the rhubarb we've put three rows of tulips uh, and daffodils but they've been the different daffodils and different tulips so you're going to get a red you're going to get different types of tulips coming up and we've gone all the way around the perimeter there uh, with three rows of them plus all the ones that are in you've got the all the daffodils what were in there all the the, the big daffodils the tat the tat all the small daffodils they're all going to be there and you've got all the old tulips it's going to look absolutely glorious same with um the other the the bed that's got all the bushes we've done the same with that we put about six no i think there's eight different types of daffodils and we've done them rather than spreading them about we've done them in clumps so you're going to have a nice beautiful like a, a little clump of um, the same daffodils here and then a little bit further over you're going to see another clump so that's what we've done there and again we've gone down the the borders with tulips more tulips i love my tulips i love them almost as much as i love my dahlias and um yeah that bed we covered over with awesome milk manure uh, again i've got the time i'll put that video up i have done the video i just haven't bothered to put that one up yet nor the the far the far bed which we've again we've piled in the the, the tulips daffodils irises crocuses um, then I've got time I'll do that as well but yeah that's what we've done we've piled that 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 bed now is good to go we might put a few bushes in there eventually I have to find the bushes all that I'm going to put in a um, couple of suggestions off you guys now in that bed at the moment so there's a, there's a a black currant and there's the a gooseberry so I'm thinking might be able to get two more in there um, but what do we put in any suggestions and uh, we'll see if we can get hold of some and put whatever into that bed for next year so that's it really that's 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 the bed what we've been working on like I say we've been picking all the leaves up off the plot today um, piling them into the compost bin I'll show you that again uh, but I thought we'd end on a bit of a tour of the plot. We won't go in the greenhouses, we'll just have a stroll around the plot and show you what the plot's looking like at the moment. And um, so here it comes. After that, well, I'll be seeing you. Because <laughs> it's time to go. So I'm going to end up now with this um, the tour. So thanks for watching, guys. And I'll see you soon. We join, join us on the, the front part of the plot. And as you can see there, my two sheds, my greenhouse. Uh, we need to sort this bloody green, this shed out here to clear everything out of it and then turn it into what it was meant to be. Somewhere for me to crash. Um, there's hardly any wind at the moment, although it, the, the word a westerly wind. And it was blowing all the contamination from, uh, apparently there's uh, been something happened in Russia there. And um, Western Europe's... Um, been covered in I think it's um, iodine or iodine or something like that some nuclear um, particles so I'm, I'm glad I'm glad anyway it's blowing toward, from the west blowing it back towards the east but as we come down here onto the plot um, as you can see well uh, there's my floss there I've just been doing the finishing the video off uh, the beds we've got to give this another lick of paint shed's going to get a lick of paint um, furniture, most of the furniture's there, like, had a lick of paint. Strawberries, well, they're done now. The, the, the slugs are eating all the um, strawberries. We will take the strawberries off what's left because obviously the frost has got to them. You can see where all the flowers have all got black dots on them, that's the frost. That bed, we haven't put the strawberries in yet. This is the bed what we've been working on, and uh, you know, if you can think of two, two bushes, one for here and one for there. Uh, leave you 
your answers messages below what you think it should I should put in there again this is another bed that we've done we've piled in literally piled in the tulips and daffodils uh, loads of alliums all these planters all along here the fuller bulbs you can start seeing the bulbs coming up now these are the bulbs what was already in here but you can imagine we've hammered them in and we've put thousands all these planters here every single planter there has got flowers or bulbs in them so come spring they're going to be glorious uh, and again all the hanging baskets along there and over there the fuller bulbs all these planters these big planters are full of bulbs pots bulbs everywhere this is um, these are the the current bushes black red white currant um, what we did we moved the horse manure back we've put this is the only way to to add nutrients into this bed was to add horse manure that the worms are dragged that down into the ground and um, next year we'll have some lovely um, raspberry, uh, raspberries and um, currants and what have you but in amongst all these here, everywhere you look, there's uh, the big clumps of daffodils coming up, all the same variety come up here, and then there'll be a different variety there, and so on, all the way around. And we smashed in a load of tulips as well. With this bed, we put three rows of tulips and daffodils all the way around the perimeter. Now there's already a load of daffodils and tulips in here. All these hanging back, all these um, planters are full, and, and you can actually see some of them starting coming up now so all these pots here are all full them ones there are full of irises uh, yeah we've been cleaning like been cleaning around the orchard all the leaves are falling off there's a few apples left on there i just i've been doing no harm i just go past and grab one i'm going to be grabbing one in a, when i go off in a bit and um we left them there they fall on the floor the the slugs and everything eat them and uh, you know the birds eat them as well uh, we've got too many we did too we've, we've got too many um apples all the apples all the baking apples was ones well we, we've took hundreds and hundreds of them and give them to my friends um coming along the back here this was all full of leaves earlier this bed we're going to be putting probably onions in this bed in fact i might put onions in there tomorrow if it's not frosted tonight onions are going tomorrow this net will protect them, keep the frost at bay for most part. And then once they get started, we'll take the take the net off and just leave the onions to come up. These are the winter onions, so we'll be doing that probably tomorrow, I don't know. We've got a few broccoli there, cabbages and collies as well. They're not coming so much at the moment. This bed here, we've dug over. We've piled in all the arse manure, the chicken manure, actually. This, is, this bed's piled in with chicken manure again this bed here we've put loads of compost from the compost bins all the potatoes are still in them buckets there um, again these strawberries need to go in the front part of the plot uh, these need tidying up here here my girls we got a, we got a um, repair are you ready for the shock here guys now this is a shock um, but it does nothing to the chickens We've got to repair that in the week. I've now I've got all the panels, the new panels, which are all got all this covering on them. They're already already done. They just need putting in. Now what's happening? That bloody Urshula, um, Hurricane Ursula and um, Storm Brian is basically just this side has ripped all this off. But this was we've done the other side um, about four months ago. We never touched this side, and now we've got to do it. I've got all the materials, it's just a matter of taking the, the pot rivets out and putting the new ones in. The chickens are not affected because inside the, it's, it's, um, it's watertight inside. That is exterior ply, so it doesn't matter. I could just leave that on there without the, the covering, but um, I've not. I've covered it. So, um, yeah, that's a that's the next job to do. Um, the beans, we're good for putting um, the bunnyard exhibition in here very soon. Hear me, girls? Come on girls, say hello. Say hello. Yeah, just give them uh, half a lettuce and uh, well, they've got, got water. We just uh, put some uh, glycerin into the water there to stop it freezing. Um, this is, uh, this here, well, we've, we've had a couple of these, or a couple of these um, 
celeries. These ones are really poor here. These have got the the, the worst of the, the frost and what have you, but these ones are fine. Um, in fact, I'm going to show you a, a video of these when we lifted a couple of them up the other day and show you just how good they are. There's a few um, beetroot there. Um, but yeah, that's it really. This is where we're going to obviously put in the Bunyards exhibition, um, bra beans. This bed here, we're going to be putting the garlic in. Uh, garlic will be going in here. In the greenhouses there, we've got a, we've got a load of um, shallots as well. They'll be there in the um, in the trays. All these here are all all full of um, bulbs, and we've still got more bulbs in the bloody shed. We need to get rid of all these here are full of them, full of bulbs. All these, so you get the picture. Uh, it should. It should uh, all be sorted out in the next week. We just got that bloody um, chicken pen root to sort out and put these strawberries into there. And um, we've got to paint them fence. That fence let's go over and show you the fencing. This is what we're putting around the strawberries. They're not strawberries, the, um, the rhubarb. A bit of a picket fence. We've got it, we've cut all these, made all these. We just need to give them a lick of paint, like the, like the shed needs a lick of paint as well. And uh, once we've once we've um, given them a look at paint, I think we'll we'll put them around as well. So that's something we can do in the winter. Gives me something to do, rather than twiddling my fingers, uh, thumbs, and wondering what the hell to do. But yeah, that's the plot. Uh, oh, my feeders. These are all. If you're gonna um, put feeders out, guys, over the winter, you got to constant. You got to make sure the the topped up because the birds will come to them and use them as a, a food source and if you don't do it one day or a couple of you know leave them a week um, the birds won't know what to do and they probably end up causing them more damage so if you if you if you're not prepared to to actually keep the keep them up topped up I won't bother even putting um, bird feeders up but a ho there's mine and the full I've got a 25 kilo bag of um, seed there so should keep me going for a few weeks and uh, yeah, that's it really. That's uh, that's the plot. Let me know what you think, and if you get any suggestions, uh, bush there and a the bush at the other end, in a sort of a cross sort of shape, and uh, we'll do that. Right, it's getting dark. Look at it there now. It's dark. It's time coming up to ten to four. It'll soon be dark so I'm gonna head off home and get me tea. I think it's lamb chops tonight guys. Yum yum. <laughs>